UHCL's 2021 BFA exhibition is back since the last exhibition in 2019. Last year's exhibition was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic and took on a virtual format. Students over the last year faced many obstacles in distance learning, especially in courses like ceramics and printmaking. Despite those challenges, artists and faculty powered through. Um, it was tough. And I know the students, I get from, you know, the end of the year course evaluations through Blackboard and just talking to them individually and asking them what I could do different because this is so new for me. Mm -hmm. um, it was a learning experience for them, but a giant one for me at the same time. Um, even though I've been teaching sculpture here since 2001, it was like I, I started a new job. Yeah. Whenever like COVID hit, I was taking a printmaking class and we still did lino cut. So you get a block and you're like cutting it out and you use a press normally, you would have to put some pressure down for the ink to transfer. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of us just printed with our cars, like <laughs> stomped on it in the kitchen. You do what you do to get a result. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, you know, taught me how to improvise a lot. <laughs> You know, having a studio is nice, but also like having that challenge of translating art into the home and like making it accessible was um, kind of like a really good thing, like kind of a blessing <laughs> in a sense, because now like students have the tools to know like, oh, just because you don't have a proper studio or a press, like it doesn't limit you in your art making abilities, you can still make artwork at home. To recognize the students' hard work, a closing ceremony April 29th honored them with awards. Winners included honorable mentions to Christina Broly for Eyes of a Fallen Angel and Eyes of a Tragedy Diptych, Emma Howard for Meeting Place, and Jude Jakubic for Gradual Emotions of Being Betrayed. The third place award was given to Jack Garcia for Lamento. Second place was awarded to Corinne Tomeo for Armani Portrait. First place was awarded to Courtney Fife for Cerulean Rapture. Best in Show was awarded to Stephanie Torres for various works, including Ocean Painting, Vases, and Pillow. Congratulations to the BFA graduates on their hard work, and go Hawks!